All right, good morning. My name is Matt Vance. I'm an assistant professor in aerospace and aviation here at OSU. I know that we have five different degree tracks. I can talk to you about two of them. The one I can talk most authoritatively about is the one that I'm responsible for, which is the professional pilot track. In this degree program, you will be certificated at the commercial pilot level and you'll have a flight instructor certificate when you leave our program and you'll be primed for either the airlines, the corporate world, or potentially military service. I think it's an interesting time in history that we're facing because the job opportunities in aviation in particular are looking very bright, especially if you're interested in piloting, where we're looking at a wave of retirements and there are more aircraft being produced than there are for seats to fill them. So the job opportunities look very bright. So I started life as a naval officer, uh, and I did that for eight years on active duty and then 12 more as a reserve. Uh, in the middle there, I joined corporate America because when I learned to fly, the propensity to be a commercial pilot with poor eyesight, while not impossible, was virtually impossible. I climbed the ranks of you know, corporate America, and I, I very much enjoyed the experience. But as I got more senior in the company, now younger people were coming to visit me and ask about career guidance. And I kept hearing myself telling them that the best job I ever had was the job I had when I was 26 and I was a teacher. The truth is I didn't know where I was going. I really had no idea. I just knew I needed to make a change. And I knew a professor at St. Louis University because I had worked with him in my last job. And I went down to visit with him. We call this nowadays networking. And we just had a cup of coffee at his desk and he said, why don't you come here? And I said, come here to St. Louis University and do what? I don't have a doctorate degree. Don't you need a doctorate degree? And he said, well, it does help. And you could get one, but you could come here and you could make a difference. And after about a month, the wisdom of Professor Kwan's uh, guidance to me um, sunk in and he was right. And I found a little job opportunity there in the aviation department at St. Louis University. I applied and I was accepted. So I had been exposed to OSU and a number of other schools at a collegiate um, competition. And I was very impressed with the demeanor, with the collegiality, and just with the integrity that I saw in the OSU team. And I thought in the back of my head, if I ever need to go somewhere, this is some place I should consider. My number one objective when I teach is I don't want to do all the talking. I try very hard not to lecture. It's a series of questions. And so I go from one question to the next, and I allow the conversation with the students to take me to various places, but I always try to come back to the next question. My second objective is I'm a very big advocate of small group discussion and report out. So I'm going to take my classes. I'm going to break them into smaller groups. The students are going to have little projects to work on, even if it's only for five minutes. Uh, my overall commanding impression is the respect that I've received from the students has just blown me away. But it's just, I've never seen the consistency of how well behaved and how mature the young people are. I've seen other young people in, in two different universities, but I never saw this. And it's just been a joy because they've been very, I think the balance between getting the job done with when you're a professional student means doing the work and enjoying what you're doing is very healthy here.